Hello everyone and welcome to part two of my homemade go-kart. This is Logan and uh, well, let me quick flip that off while I'm showing you this. Yeah, it's up on its side because I'm doing the final uh, the final little bit underneath there with the wires. So let me run you through this here, the finishing touches as promised. So you can see I painted it all black. It looks a lot better. Steering wheel is mounted and uh, as I turn the steering wheel the wheels turn. Now I'm not doing it too much because there's a lot of pressure on that wheel. I don't want anything to break. But it does in fact turn. So basically because this is all custom I need some some uh, rods there that were gonna be custom sized. So I basically just made those myself with some lugs and some um, steel rods. and. Uh, it's got a decent turning radius. Uh, obviously, just like before, pedal, brake pedal, brakes are in there. Unfortunately, the brake lines I got were just really a smidge too short. I mean, they work, but they're really kind of at the limit of how uh, tight they are. So, ah, uh, everything's coming together. Sorry it's all at an angle like this, but it'll actually allow you to see underneath. So there's the cooling fans for the transistors, all the electronics in there. And underneath, I'm basically finishing up the final touches under here. So that probably looks like a mess. But uh, believe me, it all has some order. The last thing I have to do is uh, get rid of these alligator clips and connect the final wires to the red, battery red, and then we're all good to go. So that's about the only problem. So here's what's going to happen. Um, originally I expected this to be a three-part series. Now I'm actually thinking it's going to be a four-part series. Um, right now I'm running this off of the battery pack, but this is only 12 volts, well plus a little bit more when it's charged. Um, so it's not going to be running at full power. This whole thing was designed to run at 24 volts. The batteries that you want are called lithium iron phosphate batteries, L-I-F-E-P-O-4. And they're really expensive. So that's going to be the upgrade phase when it really gets to full power. Kind of like the Large Hadron Collider. Started off at low power and slowly upgrade. Uh, that's going to be part of the upgrade. Uh, another part of the upgrade will probably be making those fans turn on when I hit the main power switch. Um, right now they're just always on when the power's on. So that's going to have to change. Um, what else? Probably upgrading the brakes. Like I said, getting a little bit longer brake cable. Um, what else? Oh, one other thing too. This project has just been, I think I have a ghost. Uh, and not a scary one, but one that changes the things that I do after I do them. So I had all three phases of this motor working, tested, put it in here, tested it again, and it worked. Then I went to connect all the wires up and only two of the three phases work. I, I have no idea how that happened. And normally I would obviously want to fix it before I finished the cart, but the problem is this thing, <laughs> all the sensors are underneath here. So I have to take this off, uh, unscrew it in there and there, take the whole wheel out, including all this stuff, disconnect it slowly, pull it out, then undo all the screws here, and then figure out what's wrong with the other sensor. Uh, maybe replacing it or whatever. And you know what? I just want the thing to be done. Um, by the way, if you haven't checked out the last video, uh, part one, or any of the videos about the motor itself, let me put a link, uh, click on the screwdriver down here. Um, and then you can go check that out here. But as a uh, finale, I'm going to go ahead and Turn this on here. So pushing this down. No, it's on. What is the deal? There we go. No, oh, why is the other one not going? All right. Well, one other problem I have to diagnose. It was working a minute ago. See what I mean about the ghost? It was literally working just a minute ago. Yep. Oh, there you go. That kind of seems like one of the phases isn't working, huh? but yet it started just a minute ago, so I don't know. This project has been plagued by ghosts, but there you go. That's pretty good. So I'm predicting at 12 volts here, might get 
I don't know, 10 miles an hour, 15 miles an hour, something like that. Now when I hit the brakes, there you go. Hit the switch, flip that off, and there you go. So it is working. So part three will be once I iron out some of these bugs and I'm driving this thing around. And then uh, part four will be the upgrades. And one other thing, the speedometer is connected. I just got to finish gluing in the magnet there. That's finishing touches here. Right now it's just taped in, but it doesn't actually matter. It functions the same. It's just a bike speedometer, but it's got a ton of functions. So, hey, thanks for checking this out. Don't forget to subscribe because you're going to want to see the final when I'm actually driving this thing around. If you have any questions about how I built it, what went into it, uh, let me know. I'll be happy to respond. And otherwise, have a great day. We have All I have to say is, missile. oh yeah. That went right. Does right. that not look awesome? <laughs> oh. So it's obviously not entirely finished. I have to get another one of these on the other side. But that's cool. I'll have to cut these off. <laughs> this side's going to be a little bit tougher to do because I still have to, I have to pull all the wires out. So thanks for checking it out. And then drill the hole and cut it.